Hi guys! Discuss natin ngayon ang half adder. Digital computers perform a variety of information processing tasks. Among the functions encountered are the various arithmetic operations. Pag sinabing arithmetic operations, ano yung naiisip ninyo? Tama, yung apat na arithmetic operations. And that is addition, subtraction, division, tsaka multiplication. At sa tingin nyo, sa apat na yan, alin dyan yung pinaka nagagamit for operations ng digital computers? Tama, it is addition. Review natin yung pag-add ng two binary numbers. Okay guys, babala. Dapat hindi nyo pinapakita to sa mga bata yung kapatid or mga bata kasi iba yung binary ha. Lalo na yung mga nag-aaral mag plus pa lang, iba yung binary dito. Review tayo in adding of two binary numbers. 0 plus 0 tama 0 1 plus 0 1 0 plus 1 tama 1 ang galing. 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1. As you observe, sa apat na operations na yan, yung naunang tatlo, ang sagot ay isang bit lang. Either 0 or 1. Pero, sa bandang ikaapat, wherein 1 plus 1, ang sagot na ay naging dalawang bits. And that is 0 and 1. So, ano ngayon yung tawag natin sa logic circuit na nagpe-perform ng ganitong operation? Ang tawag natin dyan ay half other. So, half other by definition is a combinational circuit that performs the addition of 2 bits or 2 1 bit numbers. Ngayon, alamin natin kung paano ba or ano ba yung itsura ng logic circuit na yon. So, logic circuit, ha, combination ng mga logic gates. If we review the design procedure, we need to derive first its truth table. So we have input x, y, and output sum and column for carry. So since dalawa lang yung input natin, if we have two input, how many possible combinations meron tayo? Tama, apat lang, and that is 2 raised to 2, so kaya 4. Yung nauna kaninang adding of two binary numbers, i-translate lang natin into table form or tabular form. So first, kung natatandaan nyo, that is 0 plus 0. Anong sum niya? The sum is 0. Anong carry? 0, of course. Galing. 0 plus 1 is 1. Ang carry? 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. Carry 0. 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. Carry 1. So, that is the truth table for half other. Now, we need to define the function for sum and carry. So, let's derive first the function of sum. For sum, saan ba siya nag 1? Nag 1 siya sa second row and third row. We plot that in the K map and that is 0, 1, 2, 3. So, kaya ganyan yung location ng 1. Now, pwede ba natin i-group yung dalawang yan? Hindi. Unahin natin ito and that is sum or S is equal to X prime Y. Or, this one, x, y prime. Mukha bang pamilyar yung function na to? Yes, tama. And that is actually x or. So, x, x or y is actually equivalent to x prime y or x, y prime. So, tandaan. For this function, ang function, boolean function ni sum, ay x, x, or y. 
Next, i-derive naman natin yung function for carry or C kung saan nag-1 lang siya sa fourth column. Ay, I mean, nag-1 lang siya sa fourth row. We plot that. Kailangan pa ba? O, kailangan para madaling intindihin. C then is equal to X and Y. So, ang gali, diba? So, let's draw now the logic circuit of a half other. Yan, si half other. So, tandaan, si S kanina is X or X, X or Y, at si C ay X and Y. So, ito na yung truth table niya. So, simulate natin. Try natin isimulate using logic.ly. So, here is the input. Meron siyang switch for X and Y. Output for sum, lump. Output for carry, lump. Okay, so let's try to simulate. Okay, 0 plus 0. Pag 0 plus 0, that is sum is equal to 0. Carry is equal to 0. 1 plus 0, Equal, sum is equal to 1, carry is equal to 0. 0 plus 1, sum is equal to 1, carry is equal to 0. 1 plus 1 is equal to sum equal to 0 and carry is equal to 1. So, sana naintindihan nyo, yan lang, ganyan lang kasimple ang half other.